الله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله رب العالمين وافضل الصلاة وتم التسليم على سيدنا محمد خاتم النبياء وامام المرسلين ولا عليه وصحبه وسلم سليم كثيرا نويت تعلم وتعليم وتذكر وتذكير ونفع والانتفاع والفائدة والاستفادة والحث على تمسك بكتاب الله وبسنة رسوله صلى الله عليه وعلى آله وصحبه وسلم ودعاء إلى الغتاء ودلالة على الخير وابتغاء وجه الله ومرضاته وقربه وثوابه سبحانه وتعالى وبعد رب اشرح لي صدري ويسر لي امري واحلل عقدة من لساني يفقهوا قولي وبعد السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته الحمد لله we are approaching the end of this islamic year we are in the month of dhul hijjah and we are approaching the final few days alhamdulillah we will be entering the new islamic year dependent upon the moon either on sunday or whenever the moon is sighted or if it's not sighted mola can you can confirm for us whether you've sighted it or not inshallah likely for tomorrow likely for tomorrow inshallah inshallah Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, he says in the Qur'an, Inna idata shahuri in the law hithna ashra shahran. That the number of months according to Allah is 12 months. Ke Allah tabaraka wa ta'ala ki haa bara mahineh. And minha arba'atun khuram. Of which four are sacred. Or char mahineh in bara mahineh me se ba hurmat wale mahineh. Or ye... خرمت والے مہینے کون سے ہیں تین گھٹے آتے ہیں اور ایک الگ ذلقادہ ذلحجہ محرم اور رجب so the months which are sacred with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala are four as collected in the collection of Imam Bukhari the messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam mentions that there are three which are consecutive and then you have the one on its own where you have ذلقادہ which was the previous month ذلحجہ which is this month and then the month which is fast approaching, the month of Muharram. And then you have the month of Rajab as well. These are the four sacred months. Now these months are very virtuous with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. But it does not mean that these are the only virtuous months. Because we know full well of the other months like the month of Ramadan. Ramadan ka mahina bohoti ba barkat wala mahina hai. تو یہ نہیں کہ یہ صرف خرمت والے مہینے ہیں اور ان میں فدائل ہیں اور دوسرے مہینوں میں کوئی فدائل ہے ہی نہیں لیکن یہ گھور کیا گیا ہے کہ یہ باخرمت والے دن ہیں کہ جو حرام چیزیں ہیں گھور اور فکر کرو کہ اس ان مہینوں میں زیادہ طور ان سے دور رہو کیونکہ یہ اللہ تبارک و تعالی کی مہینے ہیں so you must be very very careful in what you do so if you commit a sin there is a misconception that if you commit a sin in these months that you will be given extra sins. That's not the case. If you commit a sin, you will receive one sin. But the gravity of the situation is increased. It is more severe that you have committed a atrocity or whatever it may be during these months. So in these months, fighting was prohibited in the times of even before Islam, in the time of the Jahiliya, the Muslims, uh, the non-Muslims, the Quraysh, etc., they would not fight in these four months. And this transferred over towards Islam as well. Now, why? Why were these months sacred in the time even before the advent of the Messenger of Allah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, the Bi'sa? Why is it that these were uh, protected months in that time as well? Because through Sayyidina through Sayyidina, um, can you just take it off and bring it here? Through Sayyidina Ibrahim alayhi salam, through Sayyidina Ibrahim alayhi salam, some of these actions, they transferred over into Islam as well. Why? Because Islam is based upon the traditions upon which was revealed by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Or just Sayyidina Ibrahim alayhi salam ne taqiyata, وہ بھی وہی تھی اللہ تبارک و تعالیٰ سے تو جو قریش کو ملا تھا یہ سیدنا ابراہیم علیہ السلام کے ذریعے ان کو ملا تھا سیدنا اسماعیل علیہ السلام کے ذریعے so they received it as a form of inheritance through سیدنا اسماعیل علیہ السلام who we know is from the forefathers of سیدنا رسول اللہ صلی اللہ علیہ وسلم 
There are other actions as well, which Sayyidina Ibrahim alayhi salam, they transferred over to the Quraysh. Jaysay ke Kaabe ka tawaf karna, mina mein khayma lagana, ye sab Quraysh bhi karte te Islam ke pehle. They would do these things, the tawaf around the Kaaba, the standing in Mina, the day uh, standing in uh, Arafat, etc. Because these were transferred across to them through Sayyidina Ismail alayhi salam. But for love of money, khubba riyasa, khubba dunya, etc., they manipulated certain things. Unhone tabdili lai thi, to isme unhone fark peda kar diya. Jaysay ki tor pe, jo shaks Quraysh mein se nahi the, unko kehte the ke aapko Quraysh ke kapre khariidne hai, aur unko pain ke sirf aap tawaf kar sakte hai. So this was one of the fallacies that they had. That you are only allowed to do tawaf around the Kaaba if you have the clothes of the Quraysh. And if you do not have the clothes of the Quraysh, you must purchase them from the Quraysh. And then you are only allowed to do the Kaaba, the tawaf. And if you are not able to do this, then you will do the tawaf around the Kaaba naked. So, in the same way, in the same way, in the same way, in the same way, in the same this is the type of people that they were dealing with. Now, Abu Huraira radiallahu an, he mentions in the hadith which is recorded in the collection of Imam Tirmidhi, that the most virtuous fasting after the month of Ramadan is Allah's month Al-Muharram. Ke sabse aftal mahina Ramadan ke baad is mein roza rakhna hai, wo Muharram ka mahina hai. To koshish kare is mahine mein khub a khub if you are able to keep fast in this month, then keep them. You know, keep, keep according to the sunnahs, the Monday, the Thursday, and then the, the white days, the 13th, 14th, and 15th. If you are not able to do this, then keep Monday and Thursday. If you are not able to do this, then keep Thursday or Monday. If you're not able to do this, then keep just the 13th, the 14th, and the 15th. If you are unable to do this, then at least keep the fast of the 10th of Muharram. And for those of you who are trying to aim for the higher ranks, then for you, you should try your best to follow the fast of Sayyidina Dawood alayhi salam. Unki unki sunnat hai, usko apna. Ke wo rakhte te, ek din wo roza rakhte te, dousra din chhoor ke, phir wo roza rakhte te. So every other day Sayyidina Dawood alayhi salam, he would keep a fast. So if you are able, if you want to aim for the elite level, this is what you should be doing, like Brother Jamal over here, mashallah. The other lesson you can take from this hadith is that the Rasul sallallahu alayhi wasallam he called this month Allah's month. Nabi Akram sallallahu alayhi wasallam ne farmaya ke ye mahina Allah tabaraka wa ta'ala ka mahina hai. Isse bar ke afdaliyat ki baat koon si ho sakti hai. After this, all, all doors are closed. Allah has said this is his month. You know, from the Rasul Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, this is Allah's month. Once this has been mentioned, there is no greater merit, no greater virtue, which can be said about anything. Because Allah Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala has linked himself with a particular thing. And when Allah Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala has done that, then it shows the rank of that particular thing. There are many events which took place in this month. Bahoti Afdal, um, events is mahine mein jari te jaysay ke ibn kathir rahimullah wo farmate hain ke jab sayyidina nu alayhi salam safina mein te aur baaz jab unho ne dekha ke paani sab tara phail gaya hai ke ab is paani ko rukna chahiye hume najat ab milni chahiye to unho ne dua kiya Allah tabarak wa ta'ala se ke ab ye paani is ko مکمل کر دو ختم کر دو کہ ہم نکل سکتے تو سیدنا نو علیہ السلام نے جب دعا کی تو ان کی دعا قبول ہوئی دس عشورہ کو دس محرم کو so when سیدنا نو علیہ السلام when he made dua to Allah سبحانہ وتعالی for the water to be subsided so they could come out of the ship now and the ship it went and rested upon Mount Judai Ibn Kathir rahimullah, he mentions that this took place on the day of Ashura, on the 10th of Muharram. Ibn Abbas radiallahu anhumah, he mentions in Lata'if al-Miyah, 
in Lataif al Miya is mentioned, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala accepted the repentance of Sayyidina Adam alayhi salam on the 10th of, Ash uh, or the 10th of Muharram, on the day of Ashura. Ke Sayyidina Adam alayhi salam ki toba kabool hui das Muharram ko Ashura ki din ko. Or Sayyidina Musa alayhi salam ko wahi bhi mili das Muharram ko. He received the wahi upon the 10th of Muharram, the day of Ashura. So it's a very blessed day that the Muslims are being blessed with. Let's give me a minute, sorry. That works. Yeah, there you go. Alhamdulillah. In the collection of Imam Abu Dawood, Hadith Mutafakun Alay as well. This is the day. Ye wohi din hai. Jin me, jis me, jo bani Israel hai, unko bi najahat mili fir'aun se. Jo zulm wo unpe karta tha, wo isi din pe unko najahat mili. So they were freed from the clutches of fir'aun on the 10th of Muharram as well, the day of Ashura. When the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, he migrated to Medina. He found that the Jews of Medina used to fast on the 10th day of Muharram. To Yehudi do the, wo roza rakhte the, دس محرم کو تو نبی صلی اللہ علیہ وسلم نے سوال کیا کہ آپ روزہ کیوں رکھتے ہو why are you fasting on this day then it was said to Sayyidina رسول اللہ صلی اللہ علیہ وسلم that this is the day when نبی موسیٰ علیہ السلام and his followers they crossed the Red Sea miraculously and فرعون was drowned in the water تو فرعون کی لشکر اور فرعون کو جب دبایا گیا پانی میں so based upon this, the Jews would keep a fast to thank Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. On hearing this from the Jews, the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa said, We are more closely related to Musa than you. We are more closely related to Musa than you. So we will also keep the fast to the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. دس محرم کا اس کے بعد تو یہ حکم کیا گیا جاب بن سمورہ in the collection of Imam Muslim he mentions that the fast of Ashura یوم Ashura کا روزہ رکھنا یہ پہلے مسلمانوں پہ فرد تھا یہ حکم تھا ان پہ یہ فرد تھا that they had to keep a fast on the day of Ashura the 10th of Muharram then when the revelation came down the حکم came down for the month of Ramadan to fast the month of Ramadan, then this was abrogated. Some of the Orientalists, when they look at this, they say that Nabi Akram sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, billah, he copied the Jews and the Christians by doing this action. تو اسی لیے نبی اکرم صلی اللہ علیہ وسلم نے مسلمانوں کو کہا آپ بھی روزہ رکھیں یہ وہ کہتے ہیں however this was just a سبب یہ صرف ایک سبب تھا حکم دینے کے لیے it was just a you know a a a means for a rule to be established it was not the case that the رسول صلی اللہ علیہ وسلم was imitating the Jews because why? The Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, he never spoke from himself. Nabi Akram sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, wo khud se biyan kabhi nahi karte te. Jo bhi wo farmate te, ye Allah tabarak wa ta'ala se ta. Hence Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says in the Quran, wa ma yantiku anil hawa illa wahyun yuha. That he does not speak from himself, except that it is a revelation revealed to him. Ibn Abbas radiallahu an, in Shu'b al-Iman, he mentions that the fast of Ashura was commanded upon the Muslims. But the Prophet ﷺ said, fast the day of Ashura, but differentiate yourselves by fasting a day before and after. Ke unki nakal mat karo, ne Nabi Akram sallallahu alayhi wa sallam farma rahi hai. Unki nakal mat karo, yome Ashura ka roza rakho. لیکن ایک دن پہلے کا روزہ رکھو اس کے ساتھ یا ایک دن بعد کا بھی so differentiate yourself so how is the prophet of Allah صلی اللہ علیہ وسلم now how is he imitating 
the Jews when he's specifically saying, differentiate yourself from the Jews. Ibn Abbas in the collection of Imam Muslim, he mentions that the Rasul was asked by the Sahaba, O Messenger of Allah, this is a day, i.e. the day of Ashura. It is a day that the Jews and the Christians, they venerate. The Messenger of Allah وسلم, said, next year we will observe the 9th of Ashura fast with the 10th of uh, Ash uh, the 9th of Muharram fast with the 10th of Muharram fast. But Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala made it so that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala took his soul from this physical realm before the next year. So he was unable to com uh, complete this command. In fact, when people say that the, this is an imitation of the Jews, say that Aisha radiallahu anha, she mentions in the collection of the Mawatta of Imam Malik. Can we, um, can you put some chairs in front over there? No, no, idhar akhto. Idhar akhto. Aage. Let's put it over there. In the Mawatta of Imam Malik, Ashura was a day of fasting for the Quraysh even before the Bitha of the Rasul Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. So Quraysh ye roza rakhte te, pehle bhi rakhte te, Sayyidina Rasul Allah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam ke Bitha ke pehle. And the Rasul Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam he would continuously fast before the Bi'tha. Ibn Abbas radiallahu an, collection of, uh, which is again uh, hadith muttafaqun alayh. He mentions that he never saw the Prophet of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam singling out any day's fast and considering it more excellent than the fast of the day of Ashura. کہ نبی اکرم صلی اللہ علیہ وسلم اس دن کو سب سے افضل مانتے تھے روزہ رکھنے کے لیے اور بہت ہی با برکت والا دن اس کو مانتے تھے روزہ رکھنے کے لیے so everybody you should try your utmost best to keep a fast on the 10th of Muharram inshallah ta'ala when the month starts inshallah I will inform you all of which day is the 10th of Muharram and then inshallah you can all keep the fast now keeping a fast on the 10th of Muharram, a fiki point, keeping a fast on the 10th of Muharram and fasting a day before or the day after is recommended. You have to, you must do this, but it's not an obligation. So if you are unable to keep two days, i.e. the 9th and the 10th or the 10th and the 11th, then at least keep the day fast of the 10th because to keep it without the 9th and the 11th, with the 10th, it is makru tanzi. It is somewhat disliked. So, agar do dino ko rauza rahi nahi rakh sakte, to koshish kare ek din ka kam as kam rakhe das maharam ka. It was so emphasized. Can, we, can I just please request the brothers? Can you stop talking because it's causing a distraction? I know you see each other after a whole week, but you can speak to each other afterwards as well. If you want to talk, then go behind this pillar where I can't see you and I can't hear you, then I won't get distracted. That's a polite request, Jazakallah. In the collection of Imam Bukhari, the Sahaba, they mentioned that they would tell their younger children, the boys, to keep a fast. The chote bachche the. And what they would do is they would take toys. They would make toys from wool. And if the children would cry because they would get hungry or they would get thirsty, then they would give these toys to the children so that they get distracted. This is how much the Sahaba emphasized the point of keeping a fast on the 10th of Muharram. Abu Qatada radiallahu an. He mentions in the collection of Imam Muslim that the Prophet وسلم, was asked about fasting on the 10th of Muharram, the day of Ashura. The Messenger of Allah وسلم, said, it is an expiation for the sins of the preceding year. That 
پچھلے سال کے گناہ کا کی مغفرت کا اجر ہے سو یو بی فار گیون فار آل آف یو مائنڈ سینس فرام دا پریویس ایئر دس بائی فسٹ ان ون ڈے آؤٹ دا ایئر سو ٹرائی ٹو کیپ دس فاسٹ آئی کین نوٹ امفوسائز اے انف ابن عدی ان از ان ان الکامل از مینشن دیٹ ہو ایور اسپینڈ ہول ہارٹڈلی آن ہز فیملی آن دس ڈے اللہ سبحان و تعالیٰ وہ بھی لبرو ٹوارڈز ہیم فار دی انٹائر ایئر کہ اس دن پہ جو بھی اپنے خاندان پہ اہل والا کے اوپر خرچ کرے گا اللہ تبارک و تعالیٰ پورے سال کے لیے ان کی رزق میں برکت عطا فرمائے گا سو اسپینڈ آن یور فیملیز یو نو یو ڈونٹ ہیو ٹو گو ایکسٹرا بگنٹ اے کین بی جسٹ ایز لٹل ایز یو نو بائی ان سم سویٹس فار یور چلڈرن یو نو بائی ان اے اسکارف اور اے پرفیوم فار یور مدر اور یور فادر یو نو ڈو ان دیز کائنڈ آف تھنگس دوز یو ہو آر میریڈ اف یو گو ٹو دا بچ از شاپ یو نو یو گو ٹو آور موگل اسٹورز ایٹ دا بٹم ڈاؤن ہیئر and you go there and you go and buy you know 1 kg of mixed mutton and you take it home and you say i'm buying a gift for my wife you go home and you give it to your wife or you and you say maine aapke liye tohfa laya hai apni zauja se kehte hain ki maine aapke liye tohfa laya hai isko bana do you know that's not a gift you know if you want to give a gift take that meat home and cook it for your wife cook it for your mother You know, this will be a gift. Otherwise, you're just telling them to do what you would normally tell them to do. This hadith itself, Ibn Hibban said that it's sahih. And it's recorded through other chains from Imam Bayhaqi and Darqutni as well. And Bayhaqi, Imam Bayhaqi, he said in his Shubbul Iman, that these narrations alone may be weak, but together they are acceptable narrations. So try to spend on your family and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will be generous. He will be liberal towards you throughout the year. In fact, the muhaddith, al-muhaddith, Imam Ahmad ibn Hanbal, rahimahullahu ta'ala, the great faqih, the great muhaddith, the great mufassir, the knower of over a million hadith. He relates from Sufyan ibn Uyayna. I practice this, i.e. spending on my family on this day. for 50 or 60 years and i have found nothing but good in it this is the importance of spending on your family on this day and then there is a narration recorded by ibn rajab from abdullah ibn amr ibn al as that whoever fast the day of ashura it is as if he has fasted the entire year this ne yawm ashura ka roza rakha aise hai ke usne pure saal ke roze rakhe And whoever gives in charity on this day, it is like he has given charity for an entire year. Ki job sadaqat khairat is din pe dega, aise hoga ki usne poore saal ka sadaqat khairat diya hai. And the final point that we will close on, ki ye sawal kiya jata hai, that are we allowed to get married on the 10 days of Muharram? Ki kya shadi pe ja sakte hai, shadi ho sakti hai Muharram ke dinon mein? کسی بھی عالم یہ نے کبھی بھی نہیں کہا کہ آپ اس دن ان دنوں میں شادی پہ نہیں جا سکتے کسی بھی نہیں کہا اور یہ بھی نہیں کہا کہ آپ شادی نہیں کر سکتے نو عالم ہز ایور سیڈ دا اٹ از پروہیبٹیڈ فار یو ٹو گیٹ میریڈ ان دیز ڈیز سو ویئر ڈز دس کم فرام دیر از نوتھنگ رانگ لیگلی نو از اٹ بڈ ادب ٹو میری او اٹینڈ ویڈنگس ان دا منتھ آف محرم This mourning, this grief mentality, یہ ماتم کا یہ جو ذہن میں آتا ہے یہ ان لوگوں میں سے ہے یہ روافد میں سے آتا ہے شیعہ لوگوں میں سے آتا ہے یہ سنی کا رواج ہے ہی نہیں ان کو دیکھ کے ہمارے سنی نے اس یہ جو مس گائیڈنس اس کو اپنا لیا ہے دیو لک ٹیک دیز ایکشنز آف دیز پیپل اینڈ ڈونٹ تھنک ہم اٹیک ان دیز پیپل ایم ناٹ اٹیک ان دیم آئی ایم اسپیکن اباؤٹ آور بلیوس وٹ وی بلیو ان Right, it's so what they want to do, they can do that. That's got nothing to do with us. So it is a fallacy which is derived from their beliefs. Righteous souls, da 